Hello! Welcome to my channel! As you know, I went to Osaka in August 2019. In this episode, I'm going to share with you what I bought and where did I shop when I was in Osaka. And I also hope that it will be able to give you a head start in planning what you want to buy there or where you want to do your shopping when you are in Osaka. Number one. Don Quixote, also known as Donkey. It was so overwhelming that we spent over three hours shopping there. The one we went was at Dotonburi. If not mistaken, it's at the same row as Likoman sign. It has seven stories and there's also a Ferris wheel on the building. This is basically a snack junkie heaven. This is where you can get souvenirs for your friends and family at home too. They have a lot of Japanese instant noodles there, so you can buy them as a souvenir for your friends and family at home. You can get a lot of things here, basically it's all under one roof where you can also get the health and beauty products here which you usually find in the drugstore. Just make sure that you are prepared, especially if you are going with your partner. That's because you are going to spend a lot of time here and also you are going to buy a lot of things which might take up all your luggage space. I've personally witnessed a few couples actually argue in store. So, you know what to do. Number two, Daiso. I know, I know, there's Daiso in Malaysia and they are selling 5 ringgit and 60 cent per item in Daiso Malaysia. However, in Japan, you can get it for around 4 ringgit after currency conversion. You don't get big and bulky stuff because it will take up your luggage allowance and your luggage space which is not worth it at all for that one ringgit of saving just get the small item that you had your eye on in Daiso Malaysia you can just get it from Japan for around 4 ringgit instead of paying 5 ringgit and 60 cent in Malaysia simple zip pouch when you do not want to bring your handbag out great for keys and some cards and money good for passport too scrunchies that i saw in malaysia which i was not willing to buy and finally plastic gift bags with gusset handle and ziplock feature it is great for gifting and people can reuse it number three Gu. i hope i pronounce it correctly if you like unique law do check out Gu as well Surprisingly, this shoes is so comfortable. I've been looking for an adjustable belt and finally found it here. Number 4. Muji. I'm sure it is no stranger to all of you. been reading a lot about the nail clipper so I decided to get it to try. As for the nail polish, I tried the tester and it's pretty good. So I decided to get one for myself. Number 5. Majestic Legion. Legion. I'm not sure how to pronounce that L E G O N. Anyway, it's a shop selling women's clothes at uh, Rinku premium outlet the skirt was on sale and it's only 44 ringgit it comes with a belt 
Number six, Lynn and Royce. In fact, I did not plan to buy any chocolate from these two shops. But I saw so many people buying it and I have that extra money left. So I decided to just buy a little bit just for the sake of buying. Lindo is from Rinku Premium Outlet and Royce is from the airport. Number 7. It's just random stuff that I bought from convenience stores and also supermarket in and around Kansai area. Basically, it's just something that I did not consume when I was there, so I bring it back home. People claim that this pancake mix is foolproof enough, so I decided to get one for myself. A pack of snacks that I didn't get to finish when I was in Osaka. Number 8. These are things that were given to me when I was in Osaka. And also, I only bought one souvenir for myself from the airport. Bought this from the airport just to use up my coins. This souvenir was given by Osaka Ebisu Hotel in conjunction with their third anniversary. By the way, this is where we stay when we were in Osaka. And this is the souvenir from Kyoto given by my friend who is best there. Thank you, Kanon! are the items that I managed to bring back from Osaka to Kuching. Thank you for watching and don't forget that I have a new series coming up for my Osaka trip. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and also do follow me on my Instagram and Facebook at Love Bell Bell. Till then, see you and take care.